I am scared. <laughs> I don't ever put cream products over powder. Like we already powdered. Christy, what are you doing? What's up YouTube world? It's Mara and I'm back with another video. So as you can see by the title, today I'm going to be following Raw Beauty Christie's no makeup makeup look. And honestly, I am the biggest fan of no makeup makeup looks because at least for a day to day, there is a time and place when glam and all the extras are needed. But for me, day to day, I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm usually on a time crunch because I procrastinate getting ready until the last possible second and I just don't want to have a lot of things on my face if I'm gonna be doing a lot so no makeup makeup looks are literally my favorite so I'm gonna try and follow her video and see if I get a similar result so let's jump right in. That was a long, long time ago, years and years ago. I haven't gotten much use out of this. I end up using like the water cream and the dewy skin cream more, but I remember liking this. This says here, refresh, clarify, and balance oily skin with this weightless moisturizer, rich in Japanese wild rose to diminish the appearance of pores and 23 karat gold to provide an instant glow. non -comedic. I think I'm gonna go with Makeup Forever just because it really does smooth me out and I feel like it keeps me matte a little bit longer even though my skin's not as dry as it used to be but I feel like I used this not too long ago and it I liked it I forgot how much I liked it oh I already moisturized by the way okay now that I look crazy let's keep going these are the palettes that I'm going to be using today. These are the RCMA foundation palettes. Now, I purchased these years ago when I was freelancing and doing makeup artistry, and I thought these would be really good to have in my kit. Now, I really haven't used them much, but I have heard countless times watching a million YouTube videos that RCMA foundations are some of the most underrated and most underused foundations out there. Now, I think each of these palettes was $80, so that was very, very expensive. I was going to get rid of them, and then I changed my mind thinking, someday I might wanna use these, and today is that day, so I'm really glad that I listened to myself because I'm I'm glad to have these. So I've got two different palettes here. I've got the lighter skin one here and then the deeper skin one here. So one thing I don't know, are they wearing foundation or are they just spot concealing? I Okay, so I don't have those palettes because, like she said, they were $80 and I was not about to order a palette that I was probably not going to use all the time. So, I am probably going to be using my... No, not probably, I am. I'm going to be using my Marc Jacobs... Um, I don't know why I just had a brain fart, but this concealer. <laughs> it's like a lipstick-looking thing. and um, But this one, I noticed, is a tiny bit too light. So I might be mixing that with my Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Foundation, like just dabbing back and forth um, to get like a perfect color match. Hopefully that works. That's my plan. If it doesn't, I really don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay, so she's going in with like a really small brush and buffing everything into like her problem areas. So I think I'm going to start here, which is just like acne scars because, you know... We love acne scars. And I'm just gonna take my brush, do that, and cause I like pumped it on the back of my hand, but I feel like I'm still gonna grab too much product if I do that. So the tiniest bit of product and hope that that does something. But it's really not giving you like any coverage <laughs> whatsoever. Um, so it's kind of like, like if you like that makeup where you could still see your imperfections through, which I feel like I kind of do because I feel like it makes my skin and my makeup not look so heavy. So I don't really care that it's really not crazy coverage for me. Okay, I'm just gonna continue doing all the areas that I feel like need a little bit of coverage and I'll come back. So I covered up all the areas that I felt like needed that kind of coverage or a little bit more coverage because obviously this is not gonna be 
full coverage covering literally every imperfection because the whole point is to look like you're not wearing makeup. So let's see what is next. I think that that looks like covered enough to where I feel like if this were a scene in the movie and it was supposed to just look like I had a long day at work and, and Jasper just newly got engaged, then this would work for that. Okay, so, so she's let's not go get some powder. Like putting anything different under her eyes. I thought she was going to do something different under the eyes, but she's not. So we're going to go back in and do my eyes like under my eyes in the area around my eyes and just the same thing. Okay, so I guess now we're moving into powder. So let's see what she does for powder. So I'm gonna use the lightest hand possible on this. I'm gonna use very, very little product and really just gently press it into my skin. Tapered brush like this. And I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury um, powder in number two. Because literally last week I had a sty on this eye and I was so annoyed. I've gotten styes before, but it was never as painful as the one I got last week. It was horrendous. I never want to experience another sty in my entire life. Like, what? Like, why? Why do we get styes? Like, it just does not make sense. I don't go out and, like, pick up shit and put it on my eye. Like, <laughs> I was so annoyed, especially because I had so many ideas to film last week but they all like involved makeup or some sort of makeup and I was like I can't do anything now because you're not supposed to put makeup or wear contacts or anything like that when you have a sty. It was a real hard time in my life. I'm just kidding. No but it really hurt so bad and I didn't know like that you could take ibuprofen for it or like Tylenol or something because I was just like it's such a small area in your eye like is medicine even actually gonna do anything? So I didn't take anything. And literally I was just like crying and I would sleep a lot because sleeping was just like the only thing that made it not hurt, <laughs> if that makes sense. Anyway, okay. I think we're good with powder. Like extend my brows too much or do anything of that sort. I'm gonna really just gently fill them in. Movies and film, I was looking at their brows and they're so understated. They're just, they're not bad. They're just nothing that you would ever be like, oh, I okay, look so for Okay, so we're moving on to brows apparently. And she was saying that for brows, it's not like redefining your shape kind of thing. It's a lot more of just like following your natural shape. So this is basically what I do every day for my brows. Cause luckily, I mean, luckily and unluckily, but I have a lot of hair, so my eyebrows usually aren't like a problem. Like I wouldn't even care to just put on clear brow gel and like call it a day because my brows are just, like I have hair, if that makes sense. Uh... Now to set them. Okay, and then I'm just going to use some clear mascara to set them. I love brows. Like, they just shape your face and they're just so pretty. Okay, anyway, let's see what's next. I honestly feel like that's kind of where I want to leave it. Okay, now for eyes. I'm going to go with a little bit of Inda Sun from Fenty. And I'm just going to take it on a fluffy brush and really tap off a lot of that and not just run it through my crease, but run it right on my eyelid as well. So I'm just going in with NARS. This thing has Laguna bronzer. This thing has been loved and used and just abused. <laughs> anyway, but she's using a very, very little amount. I feel like that just makes a really subtle difference. Like it's not really anything you'd pick up on, you know? Maybe I'll go in with the RCMA color palette, the darker one, and I'll go in with maybe a shade like this. Just add a bit of warmth into areas. So she's going back in to bring warmth into her face with like a cream from her RCMA palette. She's going in with like a darker color, which would be like a cream bronzer. Um, 
that stresses me out considering we already powdered. These are the two cream bronzers that I have, the Huda Beauty color and fair, but I feel like this one can get intense really quickly. So I'm going to use the Chanel Tan de Soleil. No, this thing is like years old, <laughs> but we're just going to go in with that because I feel like this one is really hard to make it look harsh. Um, you like really have to layer this on if you want it to look that intense. So I'm going to go in with literally the slightest amount of product because I'm scared. I am scared. I don't ever put cream products over powder. Like we already powdered. Christy, what are you doing? <laughs> Honestly, I feel like that was just crazy because it's like the subtle, it looks again in person like you're not really wearing much makeup, but like on camera it makes, or like even in person it makes the most subtle difference, but it, you can like, it just shapes your face. I don't know. This is crazy. I'm kind of going wild here. Losing my mind. It's awesome. I love it so far. Okay, let's keep going. Eyelashes, and I'm going to apply some mascara. I wanted to do some mascara that looks like very fluffy and natural, but while at the same time giving some effect that I have bigger lashes than I do. Okay, and y'all know I hate doing my lashes, but let's do it. Let's go grab our eyelash color and mascara. Okay, so I'm just using whatever mascara I have. Honestly, this is CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Waterproof because my lashes will not hold a curl if it's regular mascara, like, at all. But I just completely, like, wipe off all the excess that's on here because you think there's not that much excess, but there's, there's a lot. And also, I just hate getting waterproof mascara off. It's, like, when you're trying to take your makeup off, it's, like, the worst thing in the world. Damn, I just got real deep into my thoughts. <laughs> I was fucking wild. Anyway, back to real life. That's getting weird and crazy. Um, let's see what's next. I kind of hope she does a little bit of blush just because I love blush. Blush is like my favorite thing in the world. So I hope she does that. Like the one thing I'm missing is a little bit of blush. Yes, and I'm thank talking you. Like I think I'm gonna go in with the Sigma blush palette. I'm gonna take this color right here, mixed with a little bit of that, and I'm going to take the slightest amount. Anyway, okay, for blush, she's doing this technique. I'm using the Patrick Ta blush because I think this is the most fucking beautiful blush I have ever had in my entire life. Like, it's called She's Sincere, which you all know I tend to go a little heavy handed with my blush. <laughs> Okay, so that's actually it, and she did a lip liner on her lips, and then like a kind of like lip balm or lip gloss. I really could care less. I really like my natural lip color. Um, not like I could care less that that's what she did. Like, I just couldn't care to put something on my lips, just because I really enjoy my natural lip color. Anyway, I actually really like this makeup. I'm not even gonna lie. It genuinely just looks like your skin... Like, you could still see some imperfections because, obviously, we don't all have perfect skin like the movie stars. But I like that. I like that you could see a little bit of your imperfections through it. Because it's like, oh, she's not wearing, like, crazy amounts of makeup. Like, it genuinely, I could still see my skin, my skin texture underneath it. It all just still looks so beautiful. I'm honestly in love with this makeup, and I feel like... I will probably be doing this makeup for like my everyday now. Obviously, once I get it down and it's like much faster, <laughs> but I genuinely love it. I think it's so cute and I feel like I found my new everyday makeup routine that just like 
just the cutest. I can't. Like the makeup, not me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I clipped in a weave-in. I clipped in a weave-in. <laughs> I clipped in a weave today because I was getting tired of my short hair and you know there's just some days where you're just like I just want extra hair <laughs> I hope that's it's so fun to play around with your look anyway um that's it for the video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys in my next video <coughs> Ooh, sparkling water really got to me I don't know what I did with the other end. Fuck. Oh, huh. fell on the floor. Oh, yeah, Christy. Okay. Christy, Christy, Christy. Oh my gosh. I really hope I did not wipe this foundation. Yep, I wiped it on my fucking pants. <laughs> You guys know I had all this foundation on my hand, and now it's on my pants. Thank God these are just pajama pants, but like, yep, 